In this video series, I will show you in detail how I built this electric motorized longboard from scratch. It can reach speeds up to 34 km per hour, travels up to 20 km with a single charge, is easy to control and most importantly super fun to ride. The complete process of building this board though takes quite a lot of time, but on the other hand is not that complicated to do. So let's not waste any time and let's get started with part 1, where I will show you how to create the longboard itself. First of all, we bought two sheets of 4mm thick beach plywood with these measurements and one additional 6mm thick sheet with the same measurements. The key ingredient for this build is waterproof wood glue, which gets generously applied to one side of the 4mm plywood. We made sure that every spot is coated before we continued using this professional technique on one side of the 6mm thick wood sheet. Then the sticky sides get pushed together before we continue the glue fun in order to complete our wooden sandwich with the 6mm plywood in the middle. Afterwards, we gathered all the clamps and heavy objects we had laying around to balance the raw material of our longboard and squeeze the three layers together as good as possible. While the glue was drying, I searched for board templates online and printed out two of them as a poster. After laying them out, we decided to use the smaller variation and continued by using scissors to cut out the exact design and used a bit of tape to bring all the small pieces together to form one complete board template. Once two days had passed, we freed our glued wood from its clamp prison and immediately used our template to mark the outline of the board onto it. And since there were no smaller wood sheets available in the home improvement store, we decided to make two boards from this raw material. Next, we used the jigsaw to remove the unnecessary excess wood, which also revealed that the bonding of the layers was indeed quite successful. So we continued by cutting along the outlines of the boards with the jigsaw in order to create the rough shape. Once this was done, we tested the stability of the board, were satisfied and moved on by hitting the board with a bit of sandpaper. For one, we smoothed out the bumps and rounded the edges and on the other hand, we roughed up the surface for the upcoming layer of wood glaze. We went with the walnut type and did a total of two layers per side. After everything was dry, we used the template once again to mark the location for the bolts of the trucks and drilled the eight 5mm holes. Then we removed the protective film of the grip tape, laid it down onto the board and cut it to size with the help of a box cutter. The tape itself was included in a kit with trucks, wheels, bolts and everything you need to build this. Links to all the parts are as always in the description. For the final steps, we used the bolts to poke through the grip tape and then inserted them the other way around to secure the trucks in their place. Afterwards, we prepared the four wheels by placing a ball bearing on one side the small metal tube comes behind it and another ball bearing closes it all up on the other side. We then brought this chapter of the electric longboard project to an end by placing washer, wheel, washer onto each axis and secured it all with a nut. And just like that you can build your own longboard which obviously works like a charm and is fun to ride even at this point. Stay tuned for the upcoming parts of this project. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also consider supporting me through my Patreon campaign to keep such videos coming. Stay creative and I will see you next time.